Well, hello and welcome, welcome back. I know it's been a while since I posted last, but here I am at it again. In today's episode or today's tutorial, I'm gonna go over how to make your very own sample inside of LMS. This is something that you might like, something that you might be interested in. Stay tuned and do not go away. All right, so welcome back. So in today's tutorial, what I'm gonna be using is called the DSK Acoustic Guitar, and I will have a link in the description below so you could download this and start using it yourself. Now, after I opened this acoustic guitar, uh, the first thing I did is I changed the Parlamento. Normally, it's all the way down here. I take this one and I bring it a little bit over half. Well, so what this does is gonna change the sound of the guitar and it's gonna mesh them together or they're gonna to come together. So it's kind of a slide. And I like that, I like that sound. So now it's time to start creating your melody. So the one that I created, it's gonna be right here. And let me do it right here. And uh, it's gonna be here. So let's take a listen. Almost the thing. So it's gonna go up here. So let's hear it. So that's gonna be my melody. So then I'm just gonna copy this. So it's gonna be copy. So this is copy right here. Paste it. Then hit and hold control and arrow to the left. And then we're gonna do this one more time. So highlight everything and copy, paste, hit control and hold it and arrow to the left twice. And then we're gonna make a little change here at the end. So let's grab the pencil one more time. So let's leave that there. Let's bring this one here. So this one should end up right here on B. So now let's take a listen to the melody. So all I did here is I moved this one over so it kind of goes to it quickly. All right, so then after you're done with the melody, if you're happy with it, um, actually what I'm gonna do is gonna bring it up one octave. So hit and hold control and the arrow up. So it brings it up one more octave. Okay, so let's take a listen. All right, so now that you're done with the, with the melody, Let's erase all this other stuff down here. And we're just gonna save this. So to save, you go to File right here, and you go to Export. And then when you export this file, you're gonna export it as a WAV file. So that's how you save it um, as a WAV file inside of your computer. So now you need to decide where you're gonna save it. So um, open up your desktop. I have something called Melodies already, a folder right here. And um, so I'm gonna click on melodies and then I got guitars. And I'm gonna name this one, uh, what am I gonna name it? Let's name it Sliding Guitar. And then I'm just gonna hit save. This comes up over here. I don't make any changes to this here. I leave it the way it is, it's in 24, 24 bit rate. So I'll leave it like that. So then I hit start and just saved it right there inside of the computer. All right, so after we created our melody and we saved it as a WAV file, now we want to import it back inside onto LMMS. So to do that, it's very easy. You go right here into this folder and um, you go to your desktop. That's where I put my folder. So I go to desktop, then I go to melodies and then I go to guitar melodies here and then I, put down sliding guitar, right? So then I just click and hold and I bring it over. And there it is. So now let's just get rid of this one here. 
then uh, we're going to click on it and we're going to put it right on A and we're going to extend it. I think it was this long, so let's take a listen to it. Actually, it was longer than that, so maybe it was all the way up to here. So let's take a listen. All right, so there you have it. You just learned how to create your very own sample inside of LMMS. In my future tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys how to manipulate this sample using a VST that is pretty similar kind of growth speed like the one you use inside of FL Studio and it's completely free. So I hope that this is something that you like and I hope that you learned something new from this tutorial here today and I can't wait to see you in our next tutorial. If you are one of the brave ones that stayed with me all the way up to the end of this video, I want to say first of all, thank you so much for watching. Second, I have a surprise for you. If you make a comment in the comment section below, good or bad, I will pick randomly a winner and I will give you a monitoring headset absolutely free. Once I pick the winner in my following tutorial which will be hopefully next week on Tuesday I will announce the winner all you have to do is send me your email so that way we could talk to each other and then you could give me your address and I will send you a free monitoring headphones. Now mind you they might not be the most expensive headphones in the world, but it is a free monitoring headphone for you. And these are the headphones that I use myself. And they are the brand newer W-960S. And these are the headsets that I use myself when I am producing or making my beats on LMMS or FL Studio, because I also have FL Studio. So again, thank you so much for watching, and I can't wait to announce the winner next week, and I'll see you in my next tutorial. Have a blessed, blessed day.